everyone, Dr. Colleen here. This video is going to be all about our back, strengthening and stretching. So that'll include our erector spinae muscles, our rhomboids, our trapezius, and our latissimus dorsi, our lats, down the sides. So I'm going to go through a series of exercises. I'm going to be doing these all on my knees just because of the room and the setup, but the majority of these would be done standing, so I'll kind of point that out. I'm going to be using my eight pounds for this. And remember that these are just demonstrations to explain the form so that you can gain the confidence to check out maybe one of the programs down below or step out into the gym or create your own home gym and, and take what you learn here and apply it to that. Okay, we always work off the nine to 15 reps. So this is one rep and one rep when we get up to 15 equals one set. So we wanna do the nine to 15 where you get to the 15th, the 15th one where you have still proper form, but the last two before that 15 were challenging. So that's where you're finding your sweet spot with your weight. So you might need to grow with weight or you can add a second set first. That's usually what I recommend. Get up to that next 15 and once you have proper form of 15 two times, then you could consider going up into weight or you can add a third set and get up to that 15 before you move on and start building up that next weight. And then the stretches, we'll get into that in a moment. We do those six to eight breaths or hold for a minute. So I'm gonna do a lot of these. I'm gonna move around on the mat so you can see from the side. You can do these on your knees. There's absolutely no reason. Make sure you have enough cushion to help those knees. We always wanna make sure that when we come onto the weights, we're not strangling those weights, that we have a firm grip so we don't drop them, but there's still some softness there. We also want the wrists to be neutral. We don't want them tilted in any way. Again, remember checking always whether you have hypermobile joints. So when we can come into a straight arm, some of us who have hypermobile joints, that pops forward and I want you to keep a slight bend in those joints. And I always keep a slight bend in my own joints um, and I do not have the hypermobile joints. Okay, so I'm about hip width apart with my knees. I am just slightly out from my shoulders because I wanna be able to bring this arm up alongside my body without hitting my shoulder. That's just too far, too tight in there. Okay, so I'm gonna turn forward and we're gonna inhale, exhale. Just make sure inhale, you guys can see. Exhale, so again, if you need to look at the gym or in your home at the mirror, you just look for a few and then you bring the head back down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Don't be shy with that breath. I promise you, it helps. You ever hear those tennis players? <laughs> and they grunt every time they hit the ball. It's because there's power that gets added to it. Okay, so that's the one arm row. Okay, and I like to squeeze at the top. You're thinking about that shoulder blade. This is my shoulder blade, it's back again. <laughs> We're gonna squeeze that in towards the spine as we pull that arm up and in. All right, bent over row. I'm gonna stay in this position, then I'll turn on an angle. Now, my palms are facing my thighs and the top of my hands are facing you guys. So from here, I'm gonna just stay up a little bit higher and we are gonna go in and release down. Again, I'd like to be a little bit more bent over and down and then come on this side. So you can see, squeeze. It's kind of a chicken move. So you wanna bring those in and squeeze together like we think we'd have chicken wings. Squeeze and down, okay? So that's a bent over row with hands forward, bent over row, double 
similar to the one arm row, but now we're doing both. We're gonna just inhale, exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, see those elbows, they're, they're touching my body slightly. As they come in, there's no gaps to be seen. Okay, come this way. And last one. Good job. Ooh, that is quite a workout on the legs to hold it in kneeling position. So know that you'll get a quad glute hammy workout if you do it in um in a kneeling position. You can do these seated. Um, just gonna want to safely come forward um, in that chair and watch. The weights, depending on where you're at, might want some assistance because you got to get back upright out of there with the weights. So you can either let them go to the ground if you need to um, or have assistance. Okay, reverse grip row. Now my palms are going to be facing you guys. So we're going to come up and again, the elbows super close to my body, no gaps. Oh, there's a little gap. Inhale, exhale. And down, inhale, exhale. And down, get that head neutral as soon as you can. Still squeezing that back. I'm not just going through this lifts. That'll be a lot more arm. So you really wanna squeeze the back together. Okay. This next one is a great one. If I was to go to a machine at the gym, I usually do utilize the lat pull down. Again, if you've never done that before, you might wanna check it with a weight room supervisor to be taught the proper way. And the option at home is to have a band and we are bringing the band out and then down and then up and then down so i'm drawing this elbow down and squeezing these sides down and lift again don't let those arms boing back up resist that on the way up and down Okay, I'm gonna show you one of my other favorites to do that exercise when you're home and I believe it's in the, the back strengthening section um, video. Make sure you can see me, but we're coming down all the way to the mat. Head is neutral, arms are out and we're inhaling and exhaling squeezing those elbows back and then coming down and exhale and inhale and exhale inhale and exhale so that's one of my favorites really feel it tightening and you get more of the back involved with that as well okay Next one is dumbbell pullover. We wanna make sure we have the right weight for that and we're gonna safely bring it hey, sweet baby, um, over our head. And let's get into position. I like to hold on to the weight, cupping it on both sides. Again, a firm grip, but I'm not strangling it. Now this one can be challenging, especially if you pick the wrong way. So go lighter first. We want to get neutral with our pelvis, feet are flat. You could put a block or something or a band around your knees. Arms come up and it's a straight arm back. As far as you can go, I usually put my thumbs up to tap the floor. So it's not a big surprise or shock. And then we're pulling back just to this neutral 
position. Okay, so inhale, exhale. My back is pretty close to the mat. It's not completely stuck in the mat. Exhale, but it's, it's really, really close. So if this is arching too much and you're struggling and then you're throwing the arms up, if that back is not engaged, like the belly engaged in the back close to the mat, you will uh, potentially injure or hurt that back. So this area is definitely engaged during this, anchoring me so that I can lower this down and that I'm actually using my back and my arms to bring the weight up and nothing is happening in my core to help with this movement. Inhale and exhale. Now this one's a bit more advanced, so if you need to omit this one, it's fine. It took me a while to build up the confidence and the strength to, to add that one in as fluid as I do now. Okay. Um, that's it. That's, wow, that went fast. Okay, so we did the one arm row on one side. We did the bent over row with hands forward, bent over the row with hands neutral. We did reverse grip row. Um, we did the lat pull down. We did the upper Superman with the lat pull squeeze. And then we just did the dumbbell pull over back strengthening exercise. Awesome. All right. So from there, oh, they don't need that. We are going to go into the stretches. I forgot I did this one first. Um, and it is the knees to chest. Now, again, there is a beginner intermediate back strengthening that has bird dog in it, that has different levels of Superman in it. So that can complement this. I was sticking to working a little bit more in the upper. There's also a rhomboid strengthening video as well. Um, that could also complement this one as well. So we didn't do too much of the lower back, but it's always nice to bring knees to chest. You can do single knee to chest. Switch it up. First one was double knee to chest. You can do the supine twist. Again, this one is in the lower body stretch video, I believe. Bringing that across the body. I like to reach my opposite arm away and then look towards it. And then come back to neutral. Reposition the pelvis. Center with the double knee and then come across to the other side. And I get some releases or stress, stretch out of the stretch. And come on back to center. I love when I mess up my words and then <laughs> it always seems like we have a bird, as you probably can hear in the background, that sky. She always laughs at me. <laughs> yes, you do. All right, nice flow hands if they feel good for the wrists. Your palms are going to be down. You're going to spread your fingers. You're going to put a little grip in those fingers so all the weight doesn't go in the wrists. If you don't like that, you can always come up onto your fists. And if that still doesn't work, you can grab those weights and come up onto the weights. So a bunch of options for keeping our wrists protected. So we're going to inhale, raise the back up, drop the chin. I like to have these right under. And then we're going to exhale, stick the tailbone up, chin up, drop that belly. And again, you engage this for what feels good for your back, for your body. Inhale and exhale. And hang out in one if you want. You can also look back and then look back and then come back up and 
exhale. I like to st stick my chin out a little bit further. Was taught that by at the massage therapist years ago in order to not get that little rounding, the large rounding of the, the uh, underneath the chin, that muscle. So we want to stretch that out and keep it smooth. Okay. We could also do this one's good. We just did this one in the last video. Forward fold with the arms out. fingertips or palms down and you can drop so I'm going to drop my hip to the right and I'm going to walk my hands over to the left and come back to center remember these are six to eight breaths so one minute hold and then back to center and then rolling up nice and slow. Sneak in a little shoulder roll, why not? And then if this feels comfortable, one foot out, take the other one across, elbow comes here. This hand is back behind me and we can sit up nice and tall. It's not so much about, I gotta rotate hard into this, I want you to feel yourself lengthen up and then there might be room for a slight push into that rotation. And then you're going to come out of that nice and slow, turn forward, squeeze, squeeze, cross, plant hand, lift up elbow on the side and then turn if it feels like you can so again we gotta hold our neck in a lot of those positions when we're bent over and so it's nice to include some opening some rotation into that neck when we're done okay and then come back to center so that was adding on like i said there's other videos in the library the back strengthening for beginner intermediate the rhomboid strengthening and now we're going to add this series bringing us a little bit more from the beginner videos when you're ready into that bulk range of intermediate and then um i didn't do any major advanced exercises in this one like deadlifts or Romanian deadlifts because you really want to be building up your strength and that also includes when you want to do the Romanian deadlifts um, that you have to have toned strong lower body so your glutes your hams your quads if not it will be too much of an overload on your back so your back's included in that but it's also requiring a lot of leg stuff so hopefully we'll be able to move on and I can create some videos on the um, quads, the hams and the glutes, taking them to the next level to prepare you for those more advanced back and leg workouts. So I hope those were helpful. I hope they again always bring you the confidence that you need to bring that health back into your life through strength, through toning, and I hope you have an awesome day.